Are you serious? Are you serious? Donald Trump may want you to get some coffee. I don't know, despite the negative press. But anyway, uh, the President of the United States has made a decision. He's not celebrating Ramadan. He's, for the first time, folks, in two decades, the White House will not be hosting a Ramadan celebration dinner. Um, wow. Are you serious? Well, for the first time in over two decades, the White House did not host a celebration dinner for the, to mark the end of the month of Ramadan. This of course is considered a his, a Islamic holy month when Muslims, uh, fast during daytime hours, but hosting, uh, the celebration or not the nightly meal when the Muslims break their fast during Ramadan had been a White House tradition since 1996. Okay, so Bill Clinton had done it. Uh, George uh, W. Bush had hosted it. And uh, Barack, Barack Obama had hosted it. Hosted it, And now, I shouldn't say that Bush hosted it because usually he used other people to host it. But it, it went on, I should say. It's, it always went on. Uh, in 1996, it was Hillary Rodham Clinton that hosted the first ever Ramadan dinner in the White House. Uh, but this year, the uh, there's not going to be one this year. Not this year. Maybe next year. Maybe Trump will assign somebody to do it next year. But no, 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 no Ramadan dinner this month. There's been too much violence. There's been too much anger. There's been too much th threat of war. And there's all kinds of issues. And Trump just hasn't got time for dinner right now. Um, but, uh, secretary of state Rex Tillerson, he canceled his Ramadan dinner. It's been, he also broke tradition. There's always been a Ramadan dinner at the state department for the last two decades. And Rex Tillerson canceled his also. So, uh, is this a clear message that there's, that the Christian nation of America is just saying, look, you can, uh, worship any religion you want here in this country, but um, the leadership of this country are Christian. Maybe that's the message that's being sent loud and clear. Anyway, uh, anyway, last year, though, President candidate Donald Trump told ABC News uh, that he would, open, would be open to continuing this tradition. Uh, he was open to it, but apparently uh, he's closed that door. Uh, it's, he said it wouldn't bother me, you know, if they want to have dinner, but he has canceled it. All right, so anyway, read what you want to in that. Um, but um, there's definitely been a change in the atmosphere in Washington. Matter of fact, a lot of people don't know this, but when President Trump took office, when he put his hand on the Lincoln Bible during that five hours before he went to the White House, when they changed out all the furniture and put all the new drapes and new desk and new carpet, and I mean, they completely put all the Trump stuff in there. He also had all symbols, all religious symbols of any religion completely removed from the White House except for one cross. There's one cross in the White House. That's it. There's no other religious symbols in the entire building. Now, Trump had that done during those five hours after he was sworn in as the 45th president of the United States. Well, one thing about President Trump and I have a similar taste in at least one thing coffee and i'm not hosting a ramadan dinner either here at the salvation station but we will be preaching about jesus christ tonight i guarantee you that and it's going to be a celebration all right of the salvation station the manifestation the celebration is on we'll see you tonight 7 p.m eastern i'm gonna break out the shofar what yes why not why not why not are you serious a lot of stuff we're going to talk about tonight. A lot of stuff. And, you know, BB, BB Earthwatch has got this thing. Uh, and give me just a second on that just while I'm thinking about it before we get ready to start the show. But, you know, he's got this wave uh, that he captured compromising our magnetos magnetic f magnetosphere around the Earth. What caused this? Is it from the sun? Is it from planet X? Is it the five waves of energy that Mike from around the world's been talking about? Oh, let's just see if we can find out more about this, look in a little deeper, all right?
We'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock. It's going to be powerful. Got a ton of stuff to cover. You won't believe it. My list is loaded. Johnny Depp is even on here. What? Shocking new discovery of a planet number 10 by NASA. Cosmic rays have increased. And there's stabbings and bombings and shootings and fires and all kinds of stuff going on, unfortunately. But Jesus is coming. See you tonight. 7 o'clock on Sunday Night Live. Sunday Night Live!